This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone. Today we will be doing a door and key system. These little cubes are our keys and we have our doors. If we want to open the doors, we need a key. If we pick up the red key, we can open the red doors, but we cannot open the green doors. If we pick up the green key, we can open the green doors. But we cannot spam the doors because we set the boolean so the player can only open them when animation is done to prevent spam. But I also show in the video how you can allow player to spam the doors. So enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to the new tutorial. In today's tutorial we're gonna be creating a door system with key. And this is this is gonna be very modular and this is how you should always um, create uh, this system when you know you're gonna repeat something a lot of times, for example doors. So in this uh, tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use multiple keys and multiple doors, every key for each door, right? So in this project I actually have the um, interaction system, but I will give you a link uh, where I was describing how to create one, so you can just follow that and then you can come back to this tutorial if you already don't have interaction system. Uh, it's the question, um, so basically what you need to do to get your interaction system working is uh, uh, have this um, setup. I have it uh, here set up, but you can just follow this tutorial that I'm gonna link below the video and you shouldn't be having any problems. This is only for first person, right? So we are creating this in first person. So let's go and create it. Um, for this case, I don't have BP doors, so I will just go to my blueprint class, select actor and call it BP doors. And I, I'm gonna also create BP keys. Okay, so actually I can um, move everything to door system, so you, there is some things with my um, last tutorial here. So yeah, we have actors, doors and keys. Then we can create, um, sorry, we can go to blueprint and create interface and this is gonna be BPI key pickup. And why we use blueprint interface is uh, so we can um, have more performant code without casting. Uh, basi basically you would use interface to um, uh, connect the blueprints. So you have one function in one blueprint and you want to send it to other, another, you want to give the function there, you would use interface uh, for that. So uh, we can call this function on key pickup. And as you can see here, uh, we cannot edit or do anything because we're actually gonna do that in our actors. So in our BP keys, we're gonna go to our, we can actually add the cube here. We can put it to be size 0 0.1, small cube. And let's put it color orange, for example. So we can go to event graph here, class settings, and then we will implement the blueprint interface that we just made, which is B, B, uh, BPI key, key pickup. And on key pickup, now we need to, um, actually uh, we're gonna do that in BP doors. Here, what we need to do is, we need to create BP doors variable. And this variable is going to be BP doors. So just search for BP doors and this is your object reference. Also, our key pickup needs to have BPI interact, which uh, I will link the tutorial below this video. So make sure you watch this tutorial that I link you if you already don't have interact system, right? Um, so if you don't have, just go to that video. It's quick process, like five minutes and come back to this video and continue. So if you have made the BPI interact, now we can click on interact. And uh, we're gonna get our BP doors here. Also tick this I, so we can make it instance editable and I'm gonna show you in a second. And this here is just going to be on key pickup. 
onkey pickup message. Make sure it's a message. So onkey pickup message. Target is beep doors, right? And here you can play sound if you want pickup sound. Uh, I don't I don't know if I have here. Um, we can do this, and then we will just simply destroy actor. Make sure nothing goes behind destroy actor because it's not gonna run. Okay. So what this does here is if we pull this key here, so we have a cube now because we don't have model for key. But as you can see here in the details of this cube, let me just set it like that so you can see better. In the details, I can choose which doors. And this I will choose in the level. But right now I don't have doors. So let me just create one real quick. You should have your model for doors if you want to create your game. But uh, right now I don't, so I'm just gonna scale it and make it to look something like doors. Let's see the size. Yeah, okay. For tutorial, this is going to be more than fine. I'm gonna scale it a little bit more. Okay. So, in my example now, my pivot is kinda off. As you can see, it's in the middle. And I cannot rotate doors like this because if I went to rotate doors, it would look like this. And I don't want that. So, I'm going to get scene, compo scene component. And I'm just gonna adjust my pivot to be right here in the corner. I can turn off this snapping. Uh, this, uh, yeah, snapping. And I can just bring it to be exactly like this. You will probably have to do this as well if you don't have quality asset. But if you do have quality asset, it should be set uh, correctly. So now if I move the doors, as you can see, they are going to open correctly. That works fine. We can uh, scale it a little bit tinier. Okay. So in the world, they look just fine. Okay. So now we need to create code for our doors. And how we are going to create that is um, simply, uh, you remember when we made the BPI key pickup and BPI interact, so we need those interfaces here. And also in the keys, uh, we can remove the key pickup. We don't need it there. So just BPI interact, event interact. And here we are actually going to run on key pickup that is going to run command b has key like it's not gonna run uh, yeah basically it's gonna set has key to true i don't know what's happening with me today sorry for that um so this uh, when we pick up the key it's gonna set that these doors have a key for it so for example now i'm gonna show you how to bind the key to a door like look this now you click the key and you can just click pick actor from scene here and you just click your doors if you are about to create multiple doors, you can just duplicate it holding Alt, left click, and holding Alt, left click. And here I can change this cube so we can uh, understand the difference. Also, I can change the doors so we can understand the difference, right? Um, let's get this material, so basic asset. Like that. Okay, so we have two keys for uh, now cubes because we don't have model, but this is keys. And this key needs to be set to BP doors 2. So as you can see, if we hover this uh, green one, it says BP doors 2. It's binded to BP doors 2. But the left one is binded to the BP doors. So this is BP doors and this is BP doors 2. So you basically bind them to it. It's very, very modular. Okay, so now. When we created keys, keys are done. Now we need to go to the BP doors and now we run on interact. So first, before we interact, of course, we're going to check if our player has a key. By default, our player doesn't have a key. But if we want to make some doors unlockable, like uh, unlocked at the start, just press this I here 
so you get instance editable and because you pressed instance editable you will have this uh, option has a key if you tick through these doors are always going to be locked unlocked so there will be no key for these doors if you tick it off then it's gonna be okay you don't have key you need to get a key so that's what instance editable does same we did for our key as you can see because of because of this what we did here with the eye we can now select the key here okay so now let's continue with the doors uh, we are also uh, from true gonna see b uh, doors closed b stands for boolean and it's actually not gonna you're not gonna see the b but it's just uh, easier naming convention so you have easier time when this gets stuck uh, this little b is gonna help you okay so we can uh, check if the doors are closed by default we're gonna set them to be closed right so only if our player has a key we're gonna run this branch also here I'm gonna print string you don't have a key just like that and now here from doors closed if the doors are closed if this is true we want to open them right and we are going to use something that's called timeline and it's going to be called open doors open close doors so if doors are closed if that's true we want to open them and if that's not true we want to close them so now in the update we will use our pivot which is our sync component that we adjusted here so we're gonna use it here and we're gonna get relative rotation because we need to rotate it and if we go ahead and rotate it as you can see we need to go minus 90 at our uh, z axis so z is gonna be minus 90 we will split split this struct pin and also set relative rotation but set relative rotation is going to go into update because we need to update its relative rotation right so we're gonna do it like this to make it more cleaner x goes there y go there and the z is going to be minus 90 for now just uh, to stay here but we need to set it up right so we will add a flow track call it alpha hold shift left click hold shift left click again and you'll get two of those keyframes first one is going to be time zero is going to be value zero and time uh, depends how much you want this animation to last long for example i want it to last one second and value is going to be minus 90. so i want it to last one second just like that i can press zoom to fit horizontally zoom to fit vertically and now i can hold shift and left click or I can just uh, shift and left click the second one right click and cubic interpolation automatic tangents this will make the doors open more smooth and it will be more realistic but you can also do it without this this just makes it a lot more uh, realistic and nicer smoother okay so once you have done that this z goes into alpha so our alpha is going to be new rotation for z and once it's finished we need something that's called boolean but the one called b animation done and this is going to prevent your player from spamming the doors with e i will first show you how it looks without this and then how it looks with it okay so now if i go oh yeah also from here we need to check this boolean right um, when we check it we need to also set it so when we open the doors the doors are not going to be closed right and when we close them well the doors are going to be closed pretty logical so very easy let's go and test it if we walk to that uh, doors 
Right now I don't have crosshair, but I will just eat them. It says I don't have a key. Also for those you don't have a key. But if I pick the key for the red doors, I'm able to open the red doors. Uh, this, uh, this is just a problem that I faced them wrong. Um, let's just quick fix that as well. So just... You can uh, tweak this, so I will pick up the key, I open the doors, I close the doors, open the doors, close the doors. I want to open the green, I cannot, so what I need to do is pick up the green key to be able to open those. So now I can open both doors and I can close them, but I can also spam the doors as you can see. If I spam them, I can do this. To prevent this, also, uh, because the doors were opening wrong, uh, this this might just be um, uh, here. That's my uh, 90 actually. Let's see if that would change a thing. Yeah, it would. So basically, just about numbers. You can put whatever you like here. You will play with it because uh, I don't think you're gonna want to have 90 you're probably gonna have something like 110 or to make it more realistic right because you don't want to open doors uh, you know by 90 degrees okay so I'm not gonna go into details with that let's fix the thing with the spamming so how can we prevent the player from sp spamming is basically when it's finished the animation when it's finished animation is gonna be done Right, it's done. Animation finished. Also, this boolean by default is true. Make sure it's true. So, before we check if doors are closed or not, first we're gonna check if the animation is done. And only if that's true, we're gonna run this. And we can print string here to test it animation in progress like that so basically why we set animation done by default to be true is so we could um, so we could uh, open these doors okay uh, here we need to add so when the animation starts we need to set animation to not be done so it's false animation is not done it's still starting it's in progress like this just like that and if we press compile now and go to play it i can go there as you can see i don't have key i pick up the red one i open doors but if i try to spam them i cannot and it's only going to be opened once the animation is done you see it says, it says animation in progress. I pick up this key. And as you can see, it works perfect. Again, if you, do, if you want player to be able to spam, you would just remove uh, this animation done. So you wouldn't include this boolean at all, right? So yeah, this is very easy way of creating uh, first person doors. Also, you can do it in third person like this, but you would do a different interaction system, right? So, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!